Hey guys, Mrs. Talk Techie here. Unfortunately, my last Tech Buzz newsletter for the August issue, I had some technical difficulties, and of course, I was soon made aware by a very kind person, Miss Carla. I didn't upload the video that had the full recording. I only went over half of the newsletter. So here is the second half. I apologize for any inconvenience, and uh, I think it is important, this, this second half, so I hope you guys like it. I left off right when we were gonna get to Google Slides and a couple of tips and tricks that you can use to facilitate working on that Google Slides app a lot more efficiently, especially when you're creating resources Sources. So I want to show you a couple of these things that I have right here. So the first thing I want to show you is how to be able to duplicate a slide without maybe going the copy and paste route. If you take a look on the left hand side where you have like your slide deck, you'll see slide number three. I've selected it and I know it's selected because it has like that yellow opaque overlay. Now all you're going to do is click on control D. If you have a Mac command D, so control D and it duplicates that slide. You can easily right click and find duplicate slide as well. But we wanna start using those, what we call hot keys or shortcuts so that we can be more efficient when it comes to creating resources. So now that I've duplicated my slide, here's some other tips and tricks I wanna show you when it comes to hyperlinking. You can basically hyperlink anything on your slide. So let's start off by showing you how you can hyperlink a shape. This right here is a shape. I literally went to the shapes and I grabbed this rounded rectangle. And so what you can do is you can go ahead and select it. And I know I've selected it because I have those blue little squares all around it. Once you select it, I want you guys to click on control K, Mac command K. So control K. And now you have that hyperlink option on there. You can hyperlink this to a YouTube video on shapes. So let's pretend I have my link already. I'm just gonna put YouTube and you can apply and now that is hyperlinked to youtube.com. Now, what else can we hyperlink? You can hyperlink text that you've got in there. So if you've ever gone and you've seen like an email or on a website that says uh, click here and the here word is hyperlinked, you can easily do that here as well. So check it out. Here's another little uh, tip and trick. If you double click within the word, it selects the word, so check it out, right? But if you wanna hyperlink the entire little paragraph, you can triple click. So I'm gonna click out and then triple click and it selects the whole text, like the whole paragraph. So again, I just wanna hyperlink the word here and now that it's highlighted, Control K and now I can hyperlink that word, so again, just for the sake of efficiency, let's put YouTube and apply. And so now that word is hyperlinked. If you add any image whatsoever, like my puppy dog girl here, if you want to hyperlink that, you can go ahead and do that as well. Command K. And of course, you can hyperlink that to wherever you want it to take your kiddos. You can hyperlink your Bitmoji, any banner that you make. Here's the last thing I want to show you with hyperlinking. If you want to hyperlink within a slides presentation, so, so let's say we want this home button to take us to the first slide. So if you take a look over here on the left-hand side, there's a slide with my little uh, giffies there. I want to hyperlink this home button to slide number one. So Command K or Control K if you have a Windows computer. And instead of typing out a website, I'm going to hover over this and you see now I have a gray bar. That means that's what I want to do, slides in this presentation. And I want it to go to slide number one. And I make sure that I click on apply. So let's check it out really quick, guys. I'm going to click on present. And now if I hover over this one, notice how my cursor changes to uh, the little hand symbol. Well, that shows you that this element is hyperlinked. So then if I go here to the text, it changes to the regular cursor, the arrow. But if I go over to here, it's hyperlinked. If I hover over my little puppy dog, she's hyperlinked. I did not hyperlink my Bitmoji, but now let's try out and let's see if our home button takes us to our first slide, which is the, the Jiffy or the Giphy slide. And there you go. So really simple. I hope you guys like that. The next and final tip 
or trick that I want to show you guys is something that I use all of the time. Whenever I have an image that I only want a certain section of, it's, it's just about the crop feature. So notice I have two vases here and I want to separate them and create them into two separate images. So all I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to make sure that I've selected my image. So I have my blue outline here and you're going to double click on that image. So double click. Notice now I've activated that crop feature. Once I've double clicked, I'm going to grab this one and move it over just like that. And now I have that one image separate. So then I've selected that one. I'm going to control C, control V. And now I have that image again. Well, guess what? Double click and now drag, click and keep dragging. And what you have now is that separate image, two separate images. All right, I hope you guys like that. I know I'm totally nerding out. I like stuff like this because I'm constantly creating and I wanna be as efficient as possible. So if we keep going further down, you're gonna see add a cool text effect to your Google Classroom. Most of the time, our Google Classroom, our classwork, it might get a little monotonous for our kiddos because it all looks the same. So we want to focus on, you know, we want the kids to focus on the most important stuff like, hey, Take a look at this. We want to add that attention to it. So here's the text effect that I've created. And all I did was go to coolsymbol.com. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to click on this one that says font changer. There's other sites that can accomplish the same effect. So um, let's say I'm going to create a new topic and the topic is uh, for my history class. It's the revolutionary era. So it's going to be a topic. All I do is type that out and I can actually go through all of these. So I want something really bold. So I'm going to pick these right here and all I'm going to do is press copy. It's going to give me a little like um, advertisement close. Now go back to your classwork, create, and this can work anywhere. You can add it in the assignment or a question material uh, within your description of your assignment. It's, it's totally up to you where you want to use it. I'm going to click on topic and I'm going to paste it and click on add. So same thing, control C, control V. And now I have that. Now, if you're wondering, well, how do I change the color? The color schemes are automatic based on what your Google header is. So whatever theme you pick, then it, it continues with that theme. So uh, super easy, guys. I hope you like that. If you want to get this effect like the little emoji on there um in my last newsletter i also i showed you those shortcuts on how to do that all right guys i don't want to spend too much time i'm already upset that uh you guys are having to watch a second one uh but i hope that it is useful so the last thing is our tech trailblazer for the month which is julie smith also known as the techie teacher and i'm going to take you that way and this is her main page the techieteacher.net she has all these amazing digital resources you can find all her social media platforms up here if you want to connect with her uh, additionally just a little bit about her she loves collaborating with teachers she loves creating new innovative lessons that will impact student learning. Uh, so take a look at her. So much to learn from her. She's amazing, very inspiring. One of those tech influencers to really, really uh, follow. I sincerely apologize for this mistake <laughs> that I made, but I hope that you guys do find value in what I've created and feel free to share it out to your colleagues. Again, if you want to join the newsletter in which I will be sharing out this resource digitally uh, so that it's hyperlinked, go ahead and I have everything in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that every time I do upload new content, you'll be notified.